Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. This will be the fourth instalment in a series of 18 videos designed to support your preparation for the exam in January 2024. This question is based upon inflation, obviously a big topic in the economy over recent years. It is analyse the impact of inflation on James and Meghan's future plans. Let's see how we might respond. The UK's inflation rate has fallen to its lowest level in more than two years. Prices rose by 3.9% in the year to November, though this was significantly below the level it has been at in recent years, reaching a high of 10.7% in the three-month period between October and December 2022. High inflation increases the day-to-day -day cost of living by increasing the price of items such as groceries. This potentially reduces James and Meghan's ability to save. This might mean, therefore, that the two years and six months they think it will take to save for their deposit, moving costs and furnishings may actually take longer. Therefore, this could mean that James and Meghan have to delay moving. The extent of this impact, however, depends on whether James and Meghan are able to absorb the cost of living into their budget. Whilst inflation was running at 10.7%, this may have been more difficult than whilst it remains at its current rate of 3.9%. One way, James and Meghan may seek to reduce the impact that inflation has on their ability to save towards their deposit is by downshifting to inferior products as opposed to purchasing branded goods. On the other hand, inflation in commodity prices may actually have a greater effect on their ability to save than the increased cost of groceries. If inflation increases the price of crude oil, for example, it will increase the cost of heating and lighting a home as well as fueling cars. These costs are potentially likely to have a greater impact on James and Meghan's budget than groceries alone. That said, the impact does depend firstly on whether James and Meghan's rented accommodation is energy efficient. The couple live in a rented flat and these often tend to be more energy efficient than houses. Another thing that the impact of commodity price inflation on James and Meghan's expenditure and thus their ability to save depends on is whether or not they own one, two or even more vehicles. However, the fact that Meghan works in Dartford suggests that she might use public transport to get to work, and therefore the couple may only require one car between them. In order to bring down the level of inflation, the Bank of England's Monetary Policy Committee has significantly increased the base rate. From a low of 0.1% for much of 2020 and 2021, the Bank of England base rate is now 5.25%. This could have a significant impact on James and Meghan, as it could mean that if they were to take out a mortgage to buy their home, they would have to pay significantly more back to the lender each month in interest than they did when the interest rates were much lower. This would reduce James and Meghan's level of affordability and therefore they may be able to access fewer mortgage deals. This may dissuade James and Meghan from borrowing and or make it difficult to access funding for a new home. Therefore, they may choose to delay purchasing a home until the interest rates reduce or choose to purchase a home which is significantly cheaper to enhance their affordability. On the other hand, higher interest rates caused by inflation could have a beneficial effect on James and Meghan in the immediacy. The couple plan to save £1,000 per month towards a deposit for a house. Higher interest rates will mean that they are likely to benefit from enhanced returns on their savings in the lead-up to their house purchase. This will make it easier to reach their savings goal, which may mean they are able to put a slightly larger deposit down on their house and or put their extra funds towards furnishings. However, the increased living costs caused by inflation may cancel out the benefits of enhanced savings interest. The rate of inflation may also have an effect on house prices. Average annual house prices in the UK have been steadily increasing since late 2008 and increased by 9.6% between 2021 and 2022. 
This often leads to many potential buyers being priced out of buying a property. This might mean that by the time James and Meghan are ready to purchase, the £300,000 house they initially intended to buy may be significantly more expensive. This could have a number of impacts. They may choose to purchase the more expensive house. This will mean that their loan-to-value ratio is increased, which means that their monthly repayments to the lender will also increase. This will put increased pressure on their budget each month, which may force the couple to demand pay rises from their employers, and or seek overtime or secondary sources of income. This could potentially and significantly increase the level of stress that James and Meghan face, potentially leading to more conflict within their relationship. A secondary implication is that James and Meghan would have to pay stamp duty land tax, SL, SDLT for short, if they choose to purchase a property over £300,000 as first-time buyers. This will further reduce their deposit amount as they will have to pay this tax up front when they purchase their property. On the other hand, to deal with the impact of increasing house prices caused by inflation, James and Meghan may choose to purchase a cheaper property. Whilst purchasing a property less than £300,000 will mean they avoid having to pay stamp duty land tax, cheaper homes may reduce their living standards substantially. These properties may be smaller in size and or in less desirable locations. That said, it would reduce the couple's level of borrowing, therefore, and thereby, increasing the affordability of purchasing a home and making it easier to meet their repayment obligations each month. This could be more attractive to James and Meghan than purchasing a larger property. In order to overcome the affordability issue, James and Meghan may consider getting a family member to act as a guarantor for their purchase, and may also choose to take in a lodger or lodgers, which would allow them to benefit from the rent-a-room scheme. This would let James and Meghan earn up to a threshold of £7,500 per year tax-free from letting out furnished accommodation in their home. Note, this is halved if you share the income with your partner or with someone else. Make sure you click on the thumbnail to access the next video in the series. Also smash that subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified when the next videos in the series are released.